In this training tutorial, I'd like to talk about how to configure and set up CP2E to communicate to NBHMI using Ethernet connection. So let's get started. A little bit about NBHMI selection. NB has four different size of product, 3 inch, 5 inch, 7 inch, 10 inch. Normally 7 inch and 10 inch screens are the most popular HMI. In this example, I chose 7 inch HMI with Ethernet port. As you can see, there is an Ethernet port on the back of NB HMI, I am using this Ethernet port to connect to the CP2E PLC Ethernet port. Also, an USB port can be used for HMI programming. If you are using the brand new NB HMI, the Ethernet port has a default IP address, which is 192.168.250.1. 005. As CP2E has dual Ethernet ports, so in this example, I just take advantage of CP2E and type CPU to create a simple Ethernet connection link CP2E PLC, NB HMI and laptop 3 devices together. Set up laptop IP address, 192.168.250.200. CP2E PLC IP address, 192.168.250.2. NB 7 inch HMI IP address, 192.168.250.1. Three devices on the same network domain, so I can easily utilize one laptop to program both CP2E and NB HMI. For this testing, we need the following two software CX Programmer version 9.7 or higher, NB Designer version 1.52. NB Designer is free of charge. I will put download link attached to this training video, if you want, you can download from it. If you have no idea about PLC IP address setup, it is possible to use Omron network utility to detect the current CP2E PLC IP address. To set up IP address for CP2E PLC, you need to go to PLC settings, and type in the IP address you want. Important, it is necessary to set up the IP address last digit number is the exactly the same as FIN's node number. As you might have known, NBHMI is actually using FIN's Ethernet protocol to communicate to CP2E PLC, so this setting is crucial for this Ethernet connection setup. Once we have done the IP address settings, we need to transfer our settings to the PLC. So we need to go online with PLC and transfer the PLC settings. For uploading the settings to the PLC, we need to change the PLC mode to program mode, also we need to verify the settings. Lastly, we need to recycle the PLC power, make sure all of settings take effect, once we get the PLC power back on, we can use ping dose command to test the Ethernet communications between the laptop and CP2E PLC. Okay, 
let us take a look at how to set up NBHMI for Ethernet connection. Create a brand new project. Firstly we need to choose an Ethernet model and BHMI, secondly we need to choose a proper PLC Ethernet driver, in this example, we utilize CP2E PLC, so we need to select the Ethernet driver for CP2E Micro PLC, lastly we configure the CP2E and NBHMI in the same network domain. Important, it is necessary to select the correct Ethernet driver. In this example, we are using CP Series Micro PLC Ethernet driver, also we need to set up PLC and HMI using the same Ethernet port, like this example, we use port 9600. From here, we just simply create three data display components to demonstrate how to send or receive the data in between NBHMI and CP2E PLC. It is important to compile your NBHMI program once you finish all of the settings. Also choose the Ethernet method to download the NBHMI program, of course if you like, you can also use USB cable to download the program. Please be aware that the default Ethernet port is not 9600, so we need to correct it to 9600, otherwise the communications will not work if you forgot this setting. Last thing, we can use ping command to double check the IP address setting for NBHMI. Now, we are ready to download the program to NBHMI.
we read three words from CP2 EPLC's memory D20 D21 D22 and display the result on NBHMI from this demonstration testing. As you can have seen, this is a quite simple way to do PLC and NBHMI control. Hope you can learn something from this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my videos. If you want to receive more useful training videos, please subscribe to my channel.